us, Vegeta. We've saved an entire race from tyranny. <laughs> Look at us, Vegeta. We are a couple of really great guys. No. What's up, guys, and welcome back to some more Dragon Ball Z Abridged, uh, episode five. And I think Vegeta's gonna be in this just because of the thumbnail. It has Vegeta in it, and the ending of last episode, Vegeta. Uh, are, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? So I'm assuming this one's gonna probably be Vegeta focused, which I'm ex I'm excited for because like, I was just thinking about this. Like as a kid and everything, when I did in whatever context I had of Dragon Ball Z. Goku is always my favorite. Like to me, he was the dude, but I feel like that's the case like as a kid and everything. But I feel like, I don't know, Vegeta might be the type of character like as I get older and everything, like I probably might like Vegeta more and relate to more. I don't know. It's just, you know, this is all assumptions. I could be totally wrong and still like, like Goku the most still. I don't know, but I just feel like, I don't know, I feel like it would switch to Vegeta. I just I just have a feeling for it because like his annoyance and stuff, like just how he is with people, like I totally get it. I feel the same. So like, <laughs> like I get it, man. I'd be I'd be you if I was the same too. Um, but yeah, we're just going to get into it. Appreciate you guys checking it out with me and watching. If you haven't yet, feel free to subscribe. Uh, at least if at least hit the, before you're about to leave, you're like, I don't want to fucking subscribe. I don't want to watch your videos. I don't like you. At least hit the like button and then leave. You know, just do that just to help support the video. But yeah, appreciate you guys checking this out with me. And hopefully, you know, we continue watching it together. And just feel free to educate me anything in the comments because every episode, I'm most likely going to be clueless with certain things or just not understand anything. Or there's just going to be Easter eggs and shit that obviously I don't know since I really never watched Dragon Ball Z originally anyways. So yeah, thanks for watching. Let's get started. After endless running and detours, Goku has finally reached the end of Snake Way. He could have just flown there. Oh, very convenient. Or he probably couldn't fly there because it looks very cloudy and everything. Like he wouldn't be able to see because like he would still have to be at the tail of the snake. So like, he still had to see his way to get there. And the only way to see his way to get there is to, you know, have physical uh, connection and view of like the snake path and beyond it. So that kind of makes more sense. I don't know. I don't know, regardless. Ooh! <coughs> oh, wow. That must be King Kai's place. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Is the gravity stronger there? Nice job, no. Jackass. Even today is I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fading Echo. Dragon Ball Z abridged. Meanwhile, back in the deep reaches of space. Are we there yet? No. 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 Damn, bro. <laughs> Can we stop with that bug planet? Nappa, if it'll shut you up for five minutes, then Napa. fine. See? Look how fun this is. <laughs> Holy hey, shit! Hey, Vegeta, the locals. The locals. The <laughs> welcome service. You know, Vegeta, on some planets they really appreciate foreign commune. Really oh my in god! The They'll probably treat us like royalty, considering the. Well. <laughs> They'll probably treat us like royalty. Gets instant locked up and thrown in prison, all because of Napa. Yeah. That was prison by our horrible fascist king. Uh, okay. We're in prison, Vegeta. I see that. No shit. Don't drop the soap. <laughs> Don't drop the soap. That's so funny. By the way, feel free to let me know too, because it's like I know some characters could be portrayed relatively accurate in a parody format to how they are in the real version, and then I think there are some characters that are just totally not what they're like in the original version so feel free to let me know like that is not their characteristics or even close to how they they actually are in the original versions i swear to god nap i will shiv you i will shiv you don't test me with a good time yes this is my monkey bubbles bubbles, <laughs> bubbles. <laughs> you have come far young warrior allow me to <laughs> shut the anyway, fuck up bubbles welcome to my planet the gravity here is much more intense than that on earth I feel like it would be the opposite. 
right? The bigger the planet, the stronger the gravity. Yeah, because the moon is smaller than Earth, and it has less gravity than what Earth has. I don't know if that's anywhere scientifically, scientifically accurate or makes sense, but just thinking about it, I feel like the smaller the planet, the less gravity it would have. That doesn't make any sense. Shut yep. up, Gregory. I agree, Gregory. Right, fine. How's this for a reason? <laughs> Yar, that's me out of here. <laughs> Shut up, Bojack. Yar. Anyway, what are you here for? Oh, well, King Kai, I need you to train me. Mm. There's a terrible threat coming to our planet, and I'm its only hope. How would he know that there's a threat coming to the planet? Because he just died sacrificing himself to save uh, Gohan with Piccolo killing him and Raditz. So how, do, how would he know that... Like Vegeta and them are coming to the planet. I'll do whatever it takes for you to train me. I'll withstand any test. I'll I will do try anything. as hard as I have to. And I... Sure. What? I'll train you. I'm bored. I'll do it. S seriously? I thought I'd have to do some kind of test. Are you kidding me? The only company I've had for the last 500 years have been a disembodied pirate, Yarr. a monkey, <laughs> a grasshopper. Actually, I'm a cricket. <laughs> Nobody cares. <laughs> you Actually... Wow, you're right. I can't imagine anything more boring than that. Meanwhile, on Namek. Meanwhile. There's so many characters with antennas. That's all that's happening? He's just sleeping? Soft splash. Nail. 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 What is it, Lord Guru? I saw a fish. What? That is all. Go back outside now. What the fuck? Dude? Oh god, this is so horribly dull. I hope <laughs> something exciting happens around here soon. I don't care what it is. So what's the race of Piccolo? Like what what are they called? No. What? I saw a bird. It was pretty. Is this guy slow? It's ass. <sighs> Meanwhile, back on Alia. Arlia. As you can see, many questionable people have been locked away in here. Welcome to Oz, bitch! That's right, you with the spiky, spiky hair. hair. You're going to be my bitch! <laughs> oh, you're gonna be I'm surprised. I'm going to sell you for a cigarette! For a cigarette. <laughs> I violate you because, because you're, you're my, my bitch! I love ruling this planet with an iron fist! Right, my queen? Holy shit. Vegeta's fucking him up. Hi. Who the f are you two? Hi, I'm Nappa, and that's Vegeta. He was a prison bitch. He was a prison bitch. Anyway, we're. I love how small Vegeta is, too. Like, he's one of those small. Like, like Levi Ackerman, basically. Like, so small, but such a fucking beast. Like, it's it, cr it cracks me up, but it's someone you definitely want to want to fuck with. Here, because my partner's an idiot. Now that we got introductions out of the way, I think I'll just kill you and... Hey, Vegeta! Oh, God, what now? <laughs> I think that's our queen. I'm curious how they breathe. <laughs> oh, God damn it, no, How they disgusting. breathe. I say we just... Hey, you guys, breathe for us. Why should we fuck? listen to you? You're surrounded by my 13 Dead. elite... Yeah, that's Dead fucking crazy. Dead cards, well, oh shit. you heard it, honey. They're not doing anything. Breathe away. They're standing on top of each other. Breed first, baby. Oh, there we go. <laughs> you sexy jowls. Bug sex noises. Oh, God damn it, Nappa. <laughs> Nappa sent him Meanwhile, the fucking back on picture. Earth, Piccolo <laughs> has finally begun his training with Gohan. So, Mr. Piccolo, what are you going to teach wow. me today? That much time, time has passed? Gohan seems older already, and his hair is, like, much longer than before. A brand new technique? How to right? sense energy? What about how to fly? Dodge! <laughs> Holy shit. Dude, Piccolo. Oh, man. This trick. Piccolo's like, Gohan, I'm gonna beat the shit out of you the most, just so when other villains are beating the shit out of you, it's not near as bad as what I've already put you through. So you'll be able to overcome and handle it. Training with Mr. Piccolo is really difficult. But I think I'm finally getting the hang of it. Dodge! Damn, bro. Piccolo's fucking him up. 
die again. Dodge! Dodge. Dodge! Meanwhile, at the Hall of Justice. You respect it, man. All right, everyone. What? We have to do something about these Saiyans. They're approaching Earth quickly, <laughs> and I don't think we have the strength to take them on alone. Oh, my Batman, God. Batman, what are your thoughts? Well, I think... I have an idea! Room full of virgins. Oh, God, Wales. Someone get him out of here. I'm a whale. <laughs> what the fuck? Meanwhile, back on Alia. There, I begged my wife. Will you leave us in peace? I begged my wife. No, I'm still going to kill you. Summon the Ranger. Ajeda, it's 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 so cute. Can I keep it? Can I keep it? Fine, oh just my catch god. It something. Catch Yay! it or something. Get the Pokeball Yay! out. Ah, I got your finger. Holy shit. Okay, now boy, catch a ball. Catch a <laughs> catch ball. A ball. Ah! Kills it. Oh, I broke it at Vegeta. It broke it at it. Something weak, like paper mache or raditz. Or raditz. Anything you want. We'll give you riches, <laughs> women. Wait, what are you doing? I love how, like, OP they are, too. Like, they're fucking very powerful. I'm about to rock you like a hurricane. Oh, my I God. I love that song. I love that song. Ha! Did you see that, Nappa? That was totally bad at... What are you doing? I'm cuddling it, Vegeta. It's the finger? Nappa. No! What the fuck? <laughs> oh, I remember. <laughs> we first, first got, got him. Vegeta. Really a flashback? Oh my god. Just skip to 821 if you want to. What? We're gonna watch it. We're gonna watch every fucking second of this. We're not skipping. Don't you push that skip button. I'll find you. I will find you. And I will kill you. That's not me saying that, YouTube. It's not a threat. It's a quote. It's a fucking quote. Damn, this why is this taking so long? Like what the hell? Ah, good. <laughs> good. Times. You have freed our race. You two are the greatest heroes known to our planet. We shall erect statues of you. Erect statues. Well, isn't that nice of them, Vegeta? Out of our dung. Damn. Poop statues. Well, isn't that nice of them? We're leaving Nappa. Okay. Kill him. Look at us, Vegeta. We've saved an entire race from tyranny. <laughs> Look at us, Vegeta. We are a couple of really great guys. No. <laughs> ah, tragic. <laughs> Vegeta's that fucking powerful. He can. Well, I don't know why I'm. So, I mean, I just forget, you know, because I like I do know like the spirit bombs and shit, but like Vegeta just so casually destroyed that whole fucking planet. Like, which question, like, how can they get, you know, handcuffed and imprisoned if they just, I don't know, maybe they're just testing that. There's probably a lot more to the plot or context. I don't know. But it's just like, oh, no, we're imprisoned and handcuffed. But we later blow this planet up like nothing we could have done in the first place. I don't know. I don't know. Don't think too much about it. But I really am enjoying this. I love the comedy aspect of it. It's just all over the place. And I, I, I like watching it to like kind of take in the passive, you know, the, the passive parts of like that are associated with like the real plot and story. Because I feel like there's going to be a good bit of that. And especially as it progresses, I think it's more like spot on. Uh, just also with the parody aspect, but still like fucking epic. I don't know. I'm just assuming. So this is really good. I'm, I'm, I like Vegeta a lot already. He is definitely a little sassy boy. And I can't wait for more of him, especially with him and uh, Goku getting, you know, intertwined with each other, because I'm sure those fights are going to be cool. I wonder how long it's going to take for them to become, because, you know, they were first, like, against each other, opponents, good guy, bad guy concept. But then they become bros, of course, like one of the biggest bros I think, right? I see it like lots of like, memes of them like doing the the knuckle bump, fist bump. So I would assume they're like becomes like a great brotherhood down the road. I don't know. I'm done talking, but thanks for watching this with me if you have. If not, go suck a butt 
and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Actually, is there any after credits? I think there are after credits. I always do this. Don't suck a butt just yet. Wow. I about missed out on this. Whew. I finally learned how to survive, survive all by album. myself. Live on my own and surviving out the fat of the land. Mr. Pickles Piccolo about to fuck him up. So yep. <laughs> Yells dodge after the attack. I do like though that like Piccolo is not holding back. He is constantly fucking Gohan up. Which that's probably why Gohan, like, from what I've heard, like surpasses Goku, like strength wise and everything. So like I would assume Piccolo was one of the biggest impacts of that. Assuming. I don't know. But I, I like seeing it. You know, they're going through a shitload of training. I'm I'm kinda curious on how how much time has passed from like the from when Goku left, died basically, uh, to like the current time period. And what what makes what makes Piccolo so involved to wanting to train Gohan in the first place? Because like from the abridged version, this is the only context I have, of course. From this version, it's that I wonder it's because him and Goku are MySpace buddies. That's why he's so dedicated to raising and training Gohan. Dude, if you're a top friend on MySpace, it's legit. You know, it's like bonded with blood, basically. But yeah, because like. Goku came across Piccolo, and they're like, hey, what's up? Help me defeat my brother Raditz. And then they did that, and then now Piccolo's just like, I'm gonna train you. I'm gonna train you, Gohan. I don't know you, I just met you. I killed your dad, actually. I shot a whole beam through his fucking chest. But I'm gonna take you in and train you. Put you under my wings, my, my antennas, and train you. Sprout you like a flower. But, yeah. How much time has passed? for this whole process and why is Piccolo just randomly taking on Gohan? I don't know, but feel free to educate me. Thanks again for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Bye.